Hi right, Tubes. Finally got us a nice uh, day here. It warmed up a little bit. It's about 65. So uh, I primed up the frame here. Came out pretty good. Because <laughs> I only left it a couple minutes ago and there's a spider on it. Huh. Oh well. Get him off of there and uh, alright. We'll uh We'll put a top coat on it now. About 65 out here today. Ready? All right, got a top coat on here. Let it sit out here and dry for a little bit. I think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So we'll let that dry, and uh, all that's left is put it together. All right, nice color, huh? Ready. All right, paint's all dry. You can touch it and everything. So, so what we'll do is gonna try and put these uh, these little steering bearings in here. They should go right in. There we go. Square it up. And get our little socket here and drive it home. Okay, now let's turn it over and do the other one. That should be a little easier. Let me move you guys down here so you can see. There we go. It should be easier since it's a little closer, closer to home here. Here when it hits home, that's a inch and a sixteenth socket there. It's perfect to fit on there. All right, let's see what else we can do here. All right, got the rear axle here, a real uh, swing arm we call it. I got the shocks mounted up to it and the fender on it and everything like that. So I should wait for one of the guys to come over and uh, help me with it. But I'm going to try and uh, mount it myself here. I'm going to have to bear hug it. It's not that heavy, it's just awkward. And i got to try and squeeze in this little thing here and then line up the holes. Put the bolts in. Tighten them up. I got these strapped on here. These uh, these shocks. So I'm gonna cut these straps and then find some bolts, and I'll put them on. I'm ready. All right. Let's uh, try to have these shocks up here. front end on. I got the front end all, all together here. I don't know if you can see that. I already mounted the wheel, the shocks and the steering wheel, stuff like that. I probably should have somebody help me with this too, but let's give it a try, alright? Try not to scratch too much stuff up here. Oh. 
Actually, it's been going on pretty good. Okay, I guess I'll push it. Okay, feel like I have it lined up down here. go. Put another one there. Huh. It worked out pretty well. Huh. Alright, let me tighten that up and then uh, maybe we'll uh, we put the, the pegs on and then uh, the jack shaft. I yeah, think it's going pretty well here. Alright. You remember these guys, right? They go foot pegs. Let's uh, stick them on here. I know you probably can't see this side here. Put another bolt on here. It's the one we made. Can't tell the difference though. Tighten them up and then uh, turn the bike over and put the jack shaft on. Alright, I flipped it over here. I'm gonna put the jack shaft on now. I'm not gonna show you putting it on there because you've seen it once already, right? Don't wanna have to put you through that again, so let me put that on and then uh, I don't know what well, I guess I'll put the engine on after that. Okay. Alright, guys. Sorry it took so long. We got it on here, but uh, I ran into a problem. My sprocket was, because uh, I put these, these newer tires on, they were a little bigger. And the sprocket, had I had to move the sprocket out about an eighth of an inch. Because it was hitting the tire. Well, I hardly got any clearance here at all. I don't know if you can see. I don't know what it looks like on film here. I'll try and uh, make it clear. But here I'll take my little screwdriver. And you see right in here? I can't even put the screwdriver in there because it's hitting the tire. So I got about an eighth of an inch air. That's uh, looking at the rear. That's on the left. And then up front. Okay, I don't want to focus on none of this. But uh, up here there's only a sixteenth. So I got an eighth on one side and a sixteenth on the other. Let's see if I can get a better look over here. Yeah, right here. It's just a little itty bitty screwdriver too. I can just barely fit it in there. But the chain's straight. I know it had no choice. You know, it actually uh, straightens itself when you, when you fit it in between there. But it's uh, spinning good and everything. It's hitting my rubber mat down here. That's what we're hearing. But. Uh, Wow, I lucked out on that, huh? That's what I get for buying them big tires. Alright, uh, let's throw the engine on. Alright, I got you guys strapped down to the table here. I call that a full sense of security. Alright, let me go get the engine. Uh, try and wedge it in here. Scratch it too much stuff. Uh -oh. Phew. Not much room. Alright. Let me uh, let me get some bolts and and then we'll bolt her down. Alright, we got you all bolted down. Boy, uh, we got some tight clearances here. Look at back here on the muffler or the, the intake. I got about a half inch, which is okay. Maybe a little less, three eighths. And then up here, I had to uh, put a little spacer right here to lower my gas tank so I can get my cap off. But we got room to get the cap off now. So uh, this is uh, this is all hooked up, all ready to go. So we might as well hook up our throttle. 
me scoot around here and show you this. Here's some more close tolerances. I tell you, if it wasn't for an eighth of an inch, this thing wouldn't run. So, uh, you see my chain there? Okay. This is the little tip of my screwdriver here. I got an eighth of an inch here of clearance. That's a bracket I made there. Let me zoom in there. I'll show you. I'll show you why I let Racer do all my welding. A little weld job on that tiny little piece. I asked my weld this, this little extension on there so I can put my cable. And that'll hook up to this uh, barrel clip that I put on there. He also welded that on there. Let me see if I can zoom in there. It's a little tab. You can't tell, but this, this little thing here is only about a, maybe an eighth inch uh, wide. And he welded that on there for me. But anyway, where's my cable? Oh, sorry about that. I was looking for my cable. All right, I'm going to have to cut the ball off of there. And the ball, or the end of this, where the ball is, will go through there. And then this little end here will... Uh, clip onto this, we call that a, a conduit clip because I guess they call the, the cable conduit and then uh, we'll just hook the throttle up and we should have uh, we should, uh, that'll, be, that'll be almost ready to go then alright, let me do that and get back to you alright, we got the throttle hooked up here it's working pretty good came and took some close tolerances again let me see if I get my light over here if you notice let me see if I can move in here. Sometimes the light doesn't help much, it makes it worse, but uh, see the, the little uh, screw there? I got another eighth of an inch here before it hits the, the float bowl. So if it wasn't for an eighth, thank God for the eighth, huh? Okay. Yeah, it's working good. I'm happy with that. Got the springs hooked up right for the throttle and the governor. Just snapping back good. And even up here, it's, uh, it's routed nice. I sent it through the front of the bike here. And then down around. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, I got a kill switch here. I'm going to hook the kill switch up. And then we got our brake. I want to hook the brake up. The brake's going to be a little tricky. I got the, let me see here, this, uh, this little piece hooks into there. But the cable I have is just a, a, a bare end. And this, this, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like a, a little ball on the end. You know, I, I can make that. I can solder a ball on there and stuff. But I think what I'm going to do is just send the cable through and hook it to a barrel clip on the bottom because I have I have enough room on the bottom so we'll try that but we need brakes right alright let's get to that alright got our handbrake hooked up here and our kill switch scoot around here got a kill switch you can reach with my thumb okay and then down here we got the brake hooked up. Let's see if I can reach that. Let's keep that focus at the same time. There we go. It worked out well. I'm gonna leave that little uh, little thing hanging off there in case I ever gotta take that out. Put it back in. But the, the little barrel. Put the, like I said, I put that barrel clip down there. I don't know how well it's gonna focus, but uh, that worked out well. Alright, all we got to do now is put a seat on this baby and put gas in it and uh, go look for a race with one of the kitties. Alright, let's, let's put the seat on. Alright, we're all done here. It's all ready to go. We got the headlight on, the seat on, front fender on, brakes. You like your headlight. Kind of big, but uh, that's all we got. Yeah, got all the cables on, chains on, everything. It's all ready to go, man. It's dark out now. It's uh, 11 o'clock, so maybe tomorrow if it's nice, we'll take it out for a spin. Alrighty, see you then. Alright, tubes. That's what it looks like all done. 
I'm going to take it for a spin now. I'm going to give Road Queen the, the camera here. Here you go. Try to start. How was it? It's a real slug. Gonna have to change the gearing on it. Probably has a high top end though. Alright. I'm not gonna change the gearing until uh, we see what the top end is. Alright, that's it.